Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share with you my favorite reads of 2017. Before we get into the actual books, two disclaimers. Uh, the first is kind of standard. These aren't books that were necessarily published in 2017, but they're just things that I read in 2017. The second disclaimer is that I'm not going to be going super in-depth on plot uh, here in this video. Most of these books I have talked about extensively already on the channel, so any relevant videos uh, will be linked in the cards and in the description box if you guys would like more information. I tried to film this yesterday and it just ended up being so incredibly long and not something I felt remotely interested in editing so I thought today I would try it again and just kind of trim it down to the reason why I picked that as a favorite for the year. So getting into the actual books, let's start off with some quick stats from the year. In 2017, I read a grand total of 30 books, with four of those being five-star reads, 10 of those being four-star reads, 15 were three-star reads, and I had one two-star read. Thankfully, I didn't have any one-star reads, though I did DNF two books during the year. One of those was a self-published review copy, and one was my reread of Anna Karenina. What was really interesting was that once I sat down to think, okay, what were actually my favorite reads of the year, uh, I realized that the star rating didn't necessarily correlate with whether or not they became lasting favorites. So although I gave all of the books I'm talking about today a minimum of a four star rating, the five star books that I read this year didn't necessarily all make it onto my favorites list. Some of them did, but not all of them. So it's kind of has me questioning um, how I use the star rating system and I may make another video on that in the future. Anyways, let's get into the actual books because I know I've rambled on long enough. These are in no particular order, um, though I do have four favorites and three runner-ups. So starting with favorites, I have to, of course, include The Buddha in the Attic by Julie Otsuka. Immediately after reading this, I would not have been able to say that this was going to be a favorite read of the year, but looking back on 2017, this is the book I thought about the most. This is the one that I um, thrust into the most people's hands and the book that I talked about the most. So I felt like by definition, it kind of had to become a favorite because it never really left my mind. It's an amazing story of immigration, of war, of what um, othering an entire group of people does to a society, and honestly, if I haven't managed to convince you to read this already, please consider picking it up. The next book I have here is Trevor Noah's Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood. Now, this is completely different than The Buddha in the Attic in that while I was in the middle of reading this, I already knew that this was going to be a favorite in 2017. This is by no means a perfect memoir. In fact, there are several kind of organizational changes I personally would have made, but Trevor Noah has such a gift for storytelling and such a gift for capturing the people in his life and turning them into these really vibrant, tangible characters. Honestly, this was probably one of my favorite memoirs that I have ever read, and if you have not picked it up yet, I would highly recommend the audiobook. Memoirs are always better, I think, when you can hear the author read them themselves, but I think this one in particular really lends itself to audio because a lot of what Trevor talks about is language and because of the nature of South Africa where there are so many different languages I think you might actually really lose something if you don't also listen to the audiobook so that would be my recommendation and yes it's a definite favorite from 2017 and actually the other two favorites I have to share with you guys are also audiobooks the first of which is Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell honestly I can't remember the last time I read a classic where I just felt so very engaged by the characters and where I felt so very invested in all of their lives for how long this novel is not much happens uh, it's very provincial very simple very family centered and yet I I loved that and I found all of the character interactions so very um, complex and dynamic that um, it was really quite sad when the book ended. My only consolation is that I still have so much Elizabeth Gaskell left to read so I can only hope that I find something else that I enjoy as much as Wives and Daughters. And my final favorite from 2017 was Days Without End by Sebastian Barry. Now much like how I felt about The Buddha in the Attic, this was not a book that I finished and thought, wow, that is going to be one of my favorites of the year. In fact, I was very thrown off and kind of put off by the ending itself and so in the immediate aftermath of reading this one I thought ugh like why did it why did it have to go that way but this was another book that I just could not stop thinking about throughout the rest of the year it is a book that I definitely want to go back and reread and I want to buy and own a physical copy of I know some people were put off by the narrative style saying that it kind of kept them at too far a distance from the characters but honestly I really enjoyed it it very much reminded me of early American fiction 
it very much reminded me of, uh, say, kind of a more grown-up Huck Finn, and uh, yeah, I just, it was something that I could not get out of my mind. So those were my favorite reads of 2017, and I think you can tell that my main criteria here was books that really stayed with me throughout the year. I do have three honorable mentions here that I didn't think quite hit the level of favorite, but that I couldn't um, neglect to mention to you guys, so uh, let me share with those with you very briefly. The first honorable mention, of course, would go to The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsen Hamid. Now, this was the first Mohsen Hamid I've ever read, and I'm really looking forward to getting to the rest of his stuff, uh, because I found this to be a really beautiful look at kind of the fakeness of the American dream. Again, I really liked the narrative style of this one. It's told kind of through um, more of a monologue style, and I really enjoyed that. And I think we all knew that Amy Tan was going to get an honorable mention with her new memoir, Where the Past Begins, a writer's memoir. I can only describe this one as a writer's confessional, because it does very much feel like, rather than coming at us as an expert on writing um, and giving kind of tips, Amy Tan really just confesses to her own creative process and her own insecurities. I found this incredibly captivating, so very relatable. And my last honorable mention is The Nakano Thrift Shop by Hiromi Kawakami. Now, this is one that I um, read, thought, oh, that was really fun and cute, but didn't think much of until I was writing my review and realized just how much I actually enjoyed it. This is kind of a typical Japanese literary fiction in that nothing much happens. There's no real um, action that drives the plot forward, but rather it's just kind of a look at ordinary life and a look at people's interactions, and it just felt so very real and so um, atmospheric that I really, really enjoyed this, and I think I'll probably go back and reread this at some Point. So those were my favorite reads of 2017 and a few honorable mentions, and if you haven't read these yet, hopefully I have managed to convince you that they are worth your time. I also wanted to take a minute at the end of this video to thank my patrons, because on Patreon I have hit my first funding goal, and as part of that milestone, I wanted to thank every single one of my patrons by name because you guys allowed me to buy some of these books, you guys um, allowed me the time to relax in the evening, and I just wanted to say thank you. So thank you to Amanda, Mike, Shu, Anna, Misha, Rinsey, Alex, Sonia, and Mark. Thank you guys so much. I hope we can do more fun things in the new year and read more great books. I would love for you guys to share with me some of your favorite 2017 reads in the comments below, but otherwise that is all I have for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye. I don't know why I keep saying 2015. Ugh.